well, well, joining us here in the studio is Ambassador Phil Roberts, who is um, Executive Director, Tourism Volunteers Initiatives for Sustainable Development. Ambassador, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Well, quite uh, noteworthy, you uh, recently undertook a walk from Abuja to Delta State in promotion of uh, tourism in the country. How was that? It was great. It was extremely great. Congratulations, first thank, of all. Thank you so much. But when you say it's great, you make people feel like it's an easy thing. No leg cramps, no... Um, I, had a, I had a bit of that in the, in the journey, but my goal was to achieve my my the, the, the reason why I started the trek. So I, it wasn't a problem for so me. Tell us about that reason. Does this symbolize that our roads are you know, mm. free of what they say is insecurity and making it difficult for people to travel. You are on foot, not with... Uh, mm -hmm. Amor okay, so, so a lot of times, uh, I'm a rock musician. I'm the president of Rock Music Federation. I'm also the uh, vice president Association of Entertainment Practitioners. So I'm in the creative industry. And um, most times when I travel out of the country for my rock music shows, people take me to different places like, oh, let's visit the safari, let's visit this. Yeah. And when you go to those places, you see them showcasing their tourism potentials. Mm -hmm. When you drive through the streets of those countries, you see them showcasing the colors on the flags of their countries. But when you come back to Nigeria, it's, it's different. Immigration is embarrassing you, custom is embarrassing you, road safety and all that. So I decided that what can we do different to see how we can promote tourism in Nigeria and how can we now promote the tourism investment potentials of Nigeria. So that was the reason for the trek. And most times people make it look like immediately you get into Nigeria, they kidnap you. So it's a wrong notion for our youths. So that was why I tried to see how I can change the narrative. Look at the guys that I've just spoken. These are Nigerians. They are not in Nigeria. Uh, he's not in Nigeria. They tell, the guy doing the, the, the medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He's not in Nigeria, but he's doing great things. So I tried to see how I can showcase what Nigerian youths are doing and the various opportunities we have in Nigeria apart from oil. So that was how I decided that I was going to trek from Abuja to Delta State and from Delta State. And we call the project Tourism Across the Niger. So in Tourism Volunteers Network, we have about 7,000 youths. 7,000 members, sorry, over 70% of all of my members are youth. And we're in 17 states. Recently, we just opened a branch in, in Cameroon. We're in other four countries. Yeah. So we've been doing well, and we're like, how can we encourage people to come and invest in Nigeria? Why don't, so that they don't keep running away from Nigeria in this period. So that was one of the reasons why I decided that I want to showcase to the world and showcase to the government that tourism can work in Nigeria. And that's why I tricked. You, you mentioned that you are a rock musician. Yeah. Rock in Nigeria is mm. quite a unique unique um, genre to you know to uh, be involved in mm -hmm. don't you think how is that coming along uh, I've been doing well. I, I host a program every year. It's called Rock Music Festival, where we used to showcase rock music. And all of all these things are geared towards tourism promotion. So rock music is a unique kind of music. We have our own kind of crowd, yes. um, which is usually the diplomatic set, uh, um, community. So what I do is that in every of my programs and projects, I use it to marry the diplomats and the Nigerian populace together to see how we can migrate uh, a friendship and build a lot of things to see how but, we can... But how is the reception uh, from Nigerians towards rock music? Yeah, a lot of people... So rock music has its own kind of crowd, like I said, like listening to people who are well-traveled, who, who are like a certain age of people. Though, one of the challenges we're having is that Nigerians like Afro, Afro music and all of that, but rock music passes a message. You don't, when you listen to rock music, there are some things you don't hear. You're always trying to pass a message through rock music. So that was one of the reasons why rock music is being... A little bit is not now being accepted in Nigeria through the creative industry. Well, we wish you well in all your surgeons, and we're hopeful that this tourism potentials exceed beyond the limits of Nigeria and the states where you're represented to becoming more of an international affair. Of course, yes. We're planning Nigeria to Ghana from January. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, we still have guests who joined us virtually.